and welcome back to the channel as we ride here in a little bit of misty rain today I want to talk about new model e-bike excitement meaning what excites you about a new model e-bike is there something one thing that kind of gets you excited right off the bat when you hear about a new e-bike model that has come out there Because for me, the first thing that excites me is the style of bike. So, my glasses are fogging up here. All right, let's go again. So I like, personally, the moped style of e-bike. So the style right there will get me uh, excited. And then looks. Let's face it, we all like something that looks good. And that will take me to the next step as what's under the hood so after we get the style and it looks pretty good then I want to know well what's it got to offer so the first thing I look for is the motor is the motor higher powered I'm looking for power and torque, voltage. So you want good voltage. I'd like, uh, I'm to the point now where I'd like to go above where I'm at now, 52. I'd like to try 60 or even the 72 volt would be nice, but I know the price is definitely gonna go up for that. But it's not necessarily that I want more speed. I just like the power. Even if you're not going to use all the power, I just like having it there in reserve kind of thing so that when I need it, it's there if I do need it. And where I need it, uh, as I've said in previous videos, is I need it for hill climbing. And I also need it for getting out of intersections as quickly as possible and if I have to ride in a lane with the cars when there's no bike lane then I want to be able to kind of keep up with the traffic because I think that's safer than lagging behind so I look for uh, power and uh, I mean, there are times that I like to go a bit faster. I don't do it all the time, but once in a while, uh, I don't mind going for a little bit of a speed ride. But I don't do that very often or all the time or anything like that. And it depends where I'm riding. But the other thing would be next for me would be the battery. What size battery are we are battery are we talking about? Uh, I'd like the bigger the battery the better, but uh, I know that's another costly item, but some bikes come with options to get larger or dual batteries. 
If the price isn't outrageous, I usually like to go for the extra battery, like I did on this bike, the Lyric Graffiti. Because for the Lyric Graffiti, it was only one battery at 17.5 amp hour, 52 volt, and I'm thinking, that wouldn't take long to burn up. So uh, that's why having the second battery, I think is, for me, a no-brainer at $500 additional. So then all the other things kind of, you start looking at stuff like, first of all, I should have mentioned too, I want, I like fat tire bikes, at least 20 by four, if not even wider than four inches. And then I'd look at the braking, does it have good brakes? Uh, and all the other stuff, the seat, there's no good seat, but those are kind of things I suppose you can trade out. The seat you can you can get an upgrade, but I think the main to me would be controller, motor, battery, style of bike. How does it look? And then after that, after those ones there, I would say the price. Where are we gonna, where are we pricing out at here? And if the price is reasonable, and all the other things kind of are what I'm looking for or what I'd like, then uh, I get more excited. The other thing that's exciting is when you know you're buying one. You're, you're getting ready to buy one, you know you're going to buy a bike, you've been saving up if you are saving for a bike, or you just know you're going to get one and you're just waiting to pull the trigger. That's exciting too, but you know, it never fails though. You'll get a bike, or it could be anything else, a television or anything else, and just a few months go by, or maybe even less than that, and you'll see another one and then you start questioning, should I have waited and bought that? But you know, if you, if you do that, then you'll never get your bike. You know, you'll always be going around, around, around. So I say if it, if it, if it meets what you're looking for um, and the price is right, then I think you just got to go for it. There's always going to be more models coming out there. I know there's... Uh, models coming out in the near future here that are going to be exciting and that's kind of why I wanted to talk a little bit about this but uh, for me the ultimate dream bike isn't out there yet I don't think there's one that's really uh, really uh, Turn me on 100%. I mean, this bike here is the closest. I, the graffiti is getting more into line with what I want. And maybe I don't quite know what I want, but uh, the more you um, ride bikes and get into it, then I think the more you start understanding what you're kind of looking for. So my first bike four years ago was a Rad Rover 4. And then after riding that bike, I knew what I wanted next. You know, I knew that I wanted something with a little more oomph, power to get me up hills and all. That's when I went to the Grizzly, Aerial Rider Grizzly. And then this bike here came along as more of a, not that I didn't like the Grizzly, but I wanted a second bike with power like that, just to trade off back and forth and just to give me a different uh, ride. And also, if I ever have issues with one bike, I have the other one to ride still and I'm not gonna be without a bike. That, that came into mind uh, for me as well. But as you get more and more into this, 
you get a little more picky and you're looking for particular things that's at least that's that's what, the way it is with me so now I know a little more and a little more of what I'm looking for and what I want so I mean you can customize your bike but the way I look at customizing the bike and modifying it is you spend all this money to buy the bike and then you're going to go and modify it and spend that much more you may as well put your modified money with your price you paid on the bike to begin with and get yourself a whopper of a bike that you won't need to do nothing to maybe for some people they just want to tinker with it and they don't you know even if they got one that was you know, like that with everything uh, that they want on it they may still tinker with it so i'm not that way i just want the bike and i want to be able to ride it and i want to be able to ride it now you know, I don't want a monkey with it and I bought the bike specifically for the specs that it had and I want to ride it with those specs in mind and knowing that it can do that and uh, but that's just me I just want to get on it and ride it that's the fun part for me my glasses are so uh, raindrop full that I can't hardly see where I'm going so I'm going to end this video right here let me know in the uh, comments what your uh, um, style of bike is or maybe you already have a bike that you bought that excited you so much that you had to buy it or maybe there's one out there that you haven't bought yet Maybe because you don't have the money yet, or you're not 100% sold on it, but you're thinking about it. Let me know in the comments uh, section. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button and you're in. And thank you very much for joining our channel. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.